Hi guys, welcome to this lecture which is all about the touch. In particular, I will talk about five different points which are the handpan has a delicate sound, not a strong one. What part of our fingers are we gonna use in order to get a perfect sound of our instrument? Also, um, is there any rule to play this instrument, any particular fingers? then what kind of part, what is the part of the instrument that we have to touch in order to get a, a perfect sound. And finally, we will do together an exercise which has the objective to practice and get the best sound as we can. All right, so let's start with point number one. The handpan has a delicate sound. If you're a percussionist, forget about the touch of a jambe, of a darabuka, of a cajon, congas is a totally different touch. And actually, me, I'm coming from a very rhythmic background. So when uh, I started playing handpan years ago, I was struggling at the beginning because, you know, I was playing jambe, you know, very hard. This one, on the other side, uh, has a very delicate touch. Having said that, let's uh, talk about point number two. So what is the part of my hand or my fingers that are required to get this delicate touch? Well, this is the part that we require. So it's the part between the fingertip and the mid of our finger. And there is no rule at all to play handpan with a specific finger instead of another. It's all about the fingers that you are most comfortable with. In my case, for example, I uh, mainly play hand panel with thumbs and with the index. However, I've seen many players using the middle finger and uh, also I use uh, the uh, ring finger and the pinky when I have to adopt a specific technique such as the roll. Okay, but generally speaking, I mainly use two fingers, thumb and index. However, please take your time on the instrument to find your dominant fingers. Now, let's get into the touch itself. We have said that it's a delicate touch that we have to touch with this part of our finger. We have to find our dominant finger and that we have to play the handpan always outside each ring, never inside the hole, but always outside the ring, outside the ring, outside the ring. So now you may be wondering, what about this note? This note is called ding. It's also called the root note, which around has the ring, okay, of the ding. And actually it has this exact same note. If I touch here, if I touch here, is the same note. However, the ding itself has a more bassy sound. So it all depends what kind of sound you're looking for in your composition. If I want a more high sound, I may use the ring. If I, if I need a very bassy sound, then I will use the ding itself, the center part of the ding, I will say. Now, let's get into practice and let's get the best sound as we can of our hand pump. All I want to do is to touch one note at a time and try to find your dominant finger, try to get that sound based on the information I've given you. So let's do it together. I will take this note, for example, and I will start playing. Can change finger. You start simply playing the note you want and start to gain confidence with the instrument by touching in the way it's supposed to be touched. Mm, okay, yes, I find more comfortable with the index or you may be saying no. I need the middle finger to have more strength, you know, 
it depends from person to person. Yes, we can develop strength in a finger and be able to play with that. However, especially for the beginning, don't stress too much about it. All of us have dominant fingers in the same way we have dominant hands. My dominant hands is the right one. However, I can play a hand pump with the left hand as well. And the left hand has dominant fingers. Okay, so for example, I still find the index as a dominant finger in my left hand, as well as the thumb. All right, so please take one minute extra of your time to get the best sound as you can of your instrument. Of course, this takes time. However, I'm sure you can get a great sound only by watching this lecture and apply what I've just told you.